<laughs> the champagne has uh -huh. been popped, the gifts unwrapped, the food all chowed down. So after enjoying our fair share of holiday cheer, we entered 2013 with the goal of losing weight and feeling better. Yeah, one way to eat smarter is to make healthy swaps when you're cooking. So here with a few culinary tricks up her sleeve is dietitian and director of nutrition at CalorieCount.com, Rachel Berman. Hey, Rachel. Hi, how Rachel. How are you? Hey, happy New Year. Definitely. Well, you know, we want to make healthy swaps, but we also, our weight is not only dictated by our health. So we want to incorporate ingredients that have a lot of nutrition and pack in health benefits without compromising on flavor, right? Okay. Okay. First swap is but getting rid of the butter. First swap is butter that's rich in those artery clogging, mm -hmm. um, saturated fats that we just don't need in our diet. So instead, we're going to use some pureed fruit. Um, you can use avocado, oh. prunes, applesauce. And the avocados work the best because they do have that fat. The so the right. consistency is going to be great. And those are the heart healthy fats. Okay. Do you usually use the same measurement? As yeah, you would? they're one to one swaps. So one cup, half cup of butter for half a cup of oh, butter. Right. What's happening yeah. with these cookies? So these are the cookies that you're going to taste. Okay. What are they made with? And they're made with equal parts peanut butter and olive oil instead of butter. And oh. that's really packing in those heart healthy fats. We need fats in our diet. You don't want to feel deprived. Otherwise, you're going to break yeah. those New Year's resolutions. It's like a peanut right? butter cookie. They're very good. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Great. I'm glad. Um, <laughs> no, I'm good? sorry. <laughs> All right, Marna. <laughs> Do you need water? I'm trying. Right. Okay. Well, All right. Yeah. But we're good. All right. Great. Um, so here's a fun little trick. I'm not trying to give eggs a bad rap here at all, but um, if you don't have eggs on hand or you want to make a, a recipe vegan friendly, uh -huh. you can use a tablespoon of chia or flaxseed mixed with three tablespoons of water. And that'll do the same thing? It creates this gel-like <gasps> consistency, which can substitute for the egg yolk. And really? um, it's a great, you know, healthy trick. It's adding omega threes that are your plant based. So put that in your cooking. Fats. Okay. Yes, okay. Definitely. Now this is a weird one coming up. Now here. this is a little unusual, mm -hmm. but if you want to cut the flour out of a recipe, say you have celiac disease or you have a gluten sensitivity, mm -hmm. and you can't have the flour, you just want to cut refined carbohydrates. You can use black beans. Use them mm. in a chocolate recipe. Grind so them up. You don't see them. They're pureed. A can of black beans. Pureed. This is black I don't see beans. How that would even correlate to Get flour. Washed. But it works with the consistency. And. With the water. All right, take another sip of water. <laughs> a little unusual, but no, if because you can't this have is the moist. It was just that it was a little dry. Yeah. I, this is not bad. The beans mm, and not moisture. Bad. Maybe mm -hmm. it's not for you, but. It's not bad, though. Okay. I would eat that. Great. I would. Yes. Okay, good to hear. But Sorry, you didn't. Nutritious. Dance, but. Um, <laughs> later. So instead of, uh, this is another one. Breadcrumbs are in a lot of your comfort food recipes uh -huh. mm -hmm. this time of year. Um, instead of breadcrumbs, you can use some crushed nuts or okay. seeds or mm -hmm. rolled oats that adds a uh, serving of whole grains. I actually think this what we're swapping in tastes better. I agree than with you 100. Yeah. That just have, are so have sodium and not much nutrition at exactly. all. Exactly. So what do we have here? Taste. What's at the end? Exactly. Here? Um, so we're, we're talking about cream. Cream mm -hmm. substitutes here. And cream, you think, you know, cream cheese, ice cream, a lot of saturated right. fat, right? So even if we use um, half of the cream cheese in recipes for, like, a cheesecake, for example, with half uh, Greek yogurt, mm -hmm. even a full-fat Greek yogurt, you're still going to cut calories and saturate the fat. Mm -hmm. You can use a 2% or a 0% as mm -hmm. well. Everyone has different taste thresholds. Right. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it definitely works, and it still tastes delicious, okay. adding okay. protein, more mm -hmm. satisfying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, our last taste test here, ice cream. I'm someone who has mm -hmm. a sweet tooth, right? So after a meal, you might want a scoop of ice cream. Instead of something like a chocolate chip ice cream, we're using banana ice cream. Okay. And this has no cream in it at all. It's just banana? It's just frozen banana with right. dark chocolate chips, almonds, whatever topping you well, like. Well, while Meredith is having no, no, that last I'm giving, I was being polite. I, no, it's for you. It's for no, you. No, no, it's for